Hi everyone, it's Sam McKay here from Enterprise DNA. <clears throat> Today we're going to dive into some ranking and how you can, in a real world situation, in a, in a, in a, in a compelling dashboard, utilize some ranking techniques to create some really um, uh, effective dynamic visuals. Okay. Now, if we look down the bottom here, what I've done uh, inside this dashboard, this uh, this uh, dashboard actually, um, I, I showcased in a advanced budgeting workshop as part of the Enterprise DNA webinar series. What I'll do is I'll leave a description, uh, in the description below, I'll leave a link to that. If you wanna watch the full replay, um, you, you certainly can, and I describe lots of things around budgeting um, specifically. But what I also did is, you know, um, the power of Power BI comes from combining lots of different things, right? And so what I've showcased here is um, you know, budgeting, but I've utilized ranking techniques within this budgeting dashboard because you know, ranking allows us to isolate you know, top something or bottom something or, 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 or something like that. And, uh, and utilizing these ranking techniques within these other um, scenarios that you might be dealing with are really, really effective. So I'll just show you guys what this actually does and then I'll show you the formula. I've really simplified the formula, so um, I'm gonna show you exactly how I wrote that shortly. But what I've done here, and it's reusable as well, because uh, and you'll see that you could create it once and use it across many different elements or dimensions in your data. But if we're looking here, so I've got top clients here, right? So depending on whatever context I select, and when I say context, I mean any time frame. So if I select any time frame here, or I've also got an option to select any, um, say, product here. I can even select anything inside of here as well. Um, um, but what this is going to do is this is automatically going to filter for the top, for the top seven clients. And in this case, we've got the top seven salespeople. And so what this is always going to do is it's going to dynamically change and only showcase the top seven. So it's a really, really effective way to do that. And so, for instance, if we if we just change, say, the time frame here, you'll see that that actually changes the results. It actually changes the results. It changes the results in everything in the, in the um, report, but it does actually showcase, well, these are our top clients, right? Um, and, 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 and salespeople. And what's really cool is that <coughs> it just gives a bit more color to the other insights you're showing. And that's why combining all of this, these techniques is where the real power and power BI comes in, is that we can say, select a time frame, right? We can select, so let's, let's go and select, say, um, you know, just a few products. Um, what do we got? We'll just adjust the time frame here a bit. <clears throat> and so let's just select a few products here. So I've selected a grouping of products, right? And for that grouping selection, now I'm looking at, okay, well, we've, we've got some divergence in here. Well, why is that divergence happening, right? If, if um, you know, this, this particular uh, chart is showcasing performance versus budget. So we've got the cumulative budget and we've got performance um, of current and last year. And so I can see there's a, well, there's a big divergence, right? And we could narrow that down and, and, and isolate. So, you know, why is that occurring? Um, you know, really good insight. Why is why are we seeing that divergence? Um, and you know, here we're looking at the top seven clients and top seven salespeople. Now, probably we could improve this. We could say, okay, well, what is the difference between what we made from this person last year and the year before, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, you know, you could go even further. But you know, utilizing ranking, we can create these dynamic visuals which only showcase a um, you know a certain end, a top end, or a bottom end of of our of our client base. Okay, so how did I do it? So I just jump over to um, this. Uh, uh, page here and I will just uh, grab so let's go and grab our customers right <coughs> and um, I'll just show, showcase it um, with, with our customers first and so I've got a, um, a ranking branch of measures here and so I'm going to bring in I'm going to bring in my top seven customers right and that's going to give me uh, in this case it's going to be the sales I probably could, should be a bit more informative on the name of this measure to be honest I should say top uh, sales top seven customers by sales or something like that that's showcasing a top seven customers by sales now you'll see the difference if I um, bring in say let's just if I just go total sales well, you see total sales is actually bringing up every single iteration every single result but the top seven is actually only going to bring up the top seven which is exactly what I want so let's have a look at the formula now if we look at uh, it, it's look it's not that hard right it's not it's, it's relatively straightforward um, and especially when you use uh, uh, variables I like variables really I use them all the time really simplifies uh, simplifies the formulas that you put into your models but <clears throat> really we're utilizing rank X and then we're wrapping that inside an if, if statement 
So uh, for every single customer, what we're doing is we are ranking them by sales. Now, if we're in the customer context, what we need to do is we need to release, we need to release that context, right? We need to get rid of that context so that we can evaluate over every single customer. Because if we think about what this particular result here, if we did not put all, what would happen is it would rank everyone as the same ranking. But we, so what we need to do is within a customer context, we need to say, okay, forget about any filters on context. So look at all customers and then evaluate their ranking by this particular measure. In this case, we've used sales, right? And then go descending. So we're gonna go from highest to lowest. And then by doing that, what I can, um, uh, what I can uh, do is then wrap that, wrap this uh, particular uh, variable uh, that we have created inside of, inside of if logic. And I can say, okay, well, if the customer rank is less than or equal to, in this case, seven, because I'm on the top seven, we'll return their total sales. And think about it, that could be anything. And if not, return blank. So that's it, basically. That's, that's, that's the pattern of how you do it. Um, I have showcased this a couple of times, um, but I just wanted to show you a sort of more real world. How can you utilize it within, you know, many other aspects of your reports? Um, because these these sorts of things just bring color. They add color to your um, to your analysis. What you what you you know, I'm just thinking of um, just thinking on the spot here. What what we could um, do from here? Well, you could um, you could show you could create a, like, another measure that that looked at the bottom seven, right? So in this case, you know, maybe um, if we jump back to uh, the model here you know in this case if, if, if there was you know if you wanted to look at overperformance or underperformance and you wanted to see okay well why was there divergence either way well you know it could be because the top clients have done well but it also could be you know there's some clients which are really dragging us down here maybe we want to look at bottom clients or something like that so that's where this technique can really um, come in um, uh, come in handy and can uh, you know and can really bring some effective insight can really extract some effective insight um, from your data now what I've done for the salesperson one is exactly the same, and that's why that's why this technique is really great, right? And you can reuse this over and over again. Um, you know, in this case, I'm 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 in the salesperson context, so what I have to do is I need to get rid of that context by utilizing all all is, uh, removes any filters um, of whatever you put inside of here. So we remove the filters, and then we evaluate. Okay, well, what is the ranking on total sales for all of these different salespeople? And then we put it inside of if logic, and then that's how we get the dynamic. Well. Uh, the dynamic visual for for the for the salespeople. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you guys here. That's it's, you know it's just a really effective way to bring um, uh, to bring additional insight to your reports, as as I've mentioned. Now, if uh, if you want to watch the entire. Uh, the entire workshop uh, that was part of the Enterprise DNA webinar series. I highly, highly recommend. It went through some really advanced budgeting. Now, budgeting could be forecasting, um, benchmark analysis. It's all, it's all, it's all relatively the same, same techniques. Um, you know, you can learn all, so much if you, if you can, if you can get your head around how to implement a lot of these budgeting things that I went through in the, um, in the workshop. Then you, you know you're doing very well, and you'll be able to see how you can sort of start bringing all these elements together inside of Power BI. Now I will leave the dis, uh, the link for that in the description below, for, so certainly check that out. You can also jump to the Enterprise DNA Showcase page, and this is actually this exact report is actually on at the showcase. So certainly if, um, just pop over to EnterpriseDNA.co to check that out. And so what you can do is you can actually I mean there's many many showcases here, but what you can do is you can actually dive into that very specific one. Advanced budgeting and you can um, and you can view it uh, and, and and play around with it uh, what you can also do if you, I mean if you want to get hold of the actual resource if you actually want to um, be able to see exactly how it's built and um, and, and 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 under the hood if you like uh, then <coughs> what you might want to do is, is upgrade to an enterprise DNA membership because um, as I mentioned here you can actually uh, uh, obtain all of the models here so you can really see how these things are built um, you can you can see all of um, you can uh, get hold of them all uh, via purchasing a membership so certainly check that out if, if that's what you want to um, do okay uh, all the best take care um, certainly subscribe if, uh, to the channel if you want to see a lot of good content about Power BI a lot of really practical content about Power BI that's really my focus um, I'm putting stuff out there all the time so certainly subscribe okay all the best take care talk to you soon